Hey guys and welcome to the first episode of Distro Review. Basically with Distro Review I'm going to be going over a new distribution each week and uh, probably I'll try and make it look as hacker as, as possible with uh, stupid things like Hollywood and the blessed contrib thing. So yeah. <laughs> so on this episode we're going through Kali Linux 2020.1b which is uh, currently, at the time of recording this, the latest version of Kali Linux. So yeah, let's get started. Now first things first, I'm installing all of these Linux distributions that I go through on this list uh, on my trusty 2012 MacBook Pro. Uh, it's an i5, I have no idea what graphics it's got, but um, it's pretty basic. And uh, yeah, but it does work for this sort of thing. Now, Kali Linux is a distribution that's mostly used for ethical pen testing or ethical hacking and uh, it's it's widely used throughout the security industry. I've even used it in blue team environments where we wanted to do some malware analysis. I've used it for forensics and uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty versatile uh, distribution but it has recently changed quite a bit. There is a setting on uh, Kali now where you can go in and it will change it from looking like Kali Linux to changing to uh, Windows 10 desktop which is Kind of interesting, uh, especially if you want to do something um, a little bit discreetly. For example, you're uh, maybe you're doing like a red team op and you're in an airport or something where there's lots of people around and those people might maybe want to look at your screen to see what you're doing because I know I do when I'm in an airport. So uh, yeah, if you want it to look a little bit less uh, hacker spec, maybe, you know, not so uh, Hollywood or blessed uh, <laughs> <laughs> background um, yeah maybe you want to go for something that looks a little bit less crazy so you can change it over with a quick command to Windows 10 which um, it just looks like Windows 10 it's still a Linux operating system obviously it's still using the Linux terminal and um, yeah I guess the main thing here because I want to go at a sort of basic level is that uh, the installation for Kali Linux does sometimes bug out and uh, it did actually on this one where it lost uh, all of the entries for sources.list which is basically where it goes to find any uh, packages to download. So if, even for example if I wanted to do like sudo apt-get uh, update it would have said uh, unable to find sources or something like that. I can't remember exactly. So I did have to uh, put in the sources manually again into that sources.list file but apart from that there was only one other issue which was that I had to install the uh, Wi-Fi drivers separately for this computer because um, MacBooks are a bit of a pain in the ass basically and uh, it, I had to get a thing called a B43 driver which is just the name of the driver for this particular model to be able to install Kali Linux. So I did do a live stream video of installing Kali Linux on this machine uh, so if you want to go and check that out I'll leave a, a link to it in the description. But yeah I guess um, for everyday use is Kali Linux an operating system that I would use? Probably not. I'd probably go with one of the other more popular ones uh, that aren't so security focused. Saying that you can sort of cut and choose with Linux on what you want and what you don't want. And I know with the latest versions of Kali Linux, they're trying to strip it right back to make it a really basic operating system where you then add in each of the features that you want one by one. It's definitely uh, worthwhile having a look at though if you're looking at getting into cybersecurity, uh, ethical hacking, or if you're just interested in maybe like the security side of things with computers. Again, it's pretty useful for stuff like this where you can um, play around and, and do that. But honestly, you can you could do this on a, a Mac terminal as well. So. so I guess my overall score for usability of Kali Linux is probably around the five to seven mark. I'll say we'll give it a six. The reason for that is because it has been stripped right back to basically bare metal. It is a, a bit of an interesting operating system to deal with if you're new to Linux. Um, but at the same time, it's pretty easy to get a handle of. There's a lot of documentation out there. So yeah, I mean, once you learn the basics of using Linux, which I've, I've done a few videos on, you can just sort of dive straight in and start uh, getting into the more difficult things on a Kali machine. For actually using it for security purposes, I'd say this is probably my favorite operating system. And I will do a review on Parrot as well another day. But um, yeah, I guess like it's, if you've ever used Ubuntu, 
before, it's pretty much the same. It just has a whole bunch of security features pre-installed. So for example, like Wi-Fi, Metasploit, Burp Suite, etc. They're all already on there. It's not quite as intense on the privacy side of things as Tails OS, but overall I'd say, yeah, around a, a six for usability and maybe like a, a nine or eight and a half at the lowest for having security features for cybersecurity. So yeah, let me know in the comments below uh, what you think about uh, Kali Linux yourself. Have you used it? Uh, ha have you had trouble installing it maybe? Uh, let me know. I'd love to hear about uh, the issues or the advantages of uh, Kali Linux from your own point of view. Also, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed that little intro uh, B-roll sequence that I put on uh, this video. I thought I'd, I'd have a little bit of fun with it and try something a, a bit different for once. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. For anyone who's new here, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe for more videos just like this. And uh, I'll see you all on the next video. Catch you later.